appeared in such films as Starship Troopers and Wild Things starting tomorrow. She's helping James Bond save the day in The World Is Not Enough. Please welcome Denise Richards. <laughs> brought me for eBay. This is the James Bond car, right? The new BMW. It's a Z8. Excellent. A will you sign it for me? I will. It's very nice to have you here. Thank you. I'm so excited to be on the show. Now, were you a big Bond fan before you got this movie role? Actually, I didn't grow up watching the Bond movies. My mom was a huge fan of them, and uh, the first one I saw was actually Goldeneye, Pierce's first one. Really? Yeah, You're but very of course young. I've gone back and yes. watched quite a few of them. Now, can I just say something? You have the best posture of anyone who's ever been on this show. <laughs> Look at how straight you're sitting. You. I feel like I should stop slouching. Like, all right, anyway, Denise, so. Uh, <laughs> that, that's better. That's how I use it. I remember the first one I saw was Diamonds Off Forever. That's it was a like great 1972 one. or something. And that was Jill St. John. I don't remember it? because I just remember it was rated PG. It was and I got to go PG. to it. <laughs> Woo! You know, that was a big thing when I was eight years old. <laughs> now, you, you, when they called you and told you you got it, it must have been thrilling for you. I was so excited. I actually went to London to screen test for it this time last year. So I was kind of waiting to hear whether or not I got the part. So I was really excited about it. Now, you modeled first before you became an actress? Um, in high school, I did. I did some modeling. And then you did, um, I remember the movie Wild Things on Starship I Trooper. Do did. <laughs> did, did people recognize you a lot from that? You know, it's funny. I get more kids that come up to me recognizing me from those films, and I'm always a little concerned. I'm like, where are your parents? <laughs> These are like R-rated films, and, you know, Wild Things is a little risque. So I'll be very excited. Bond is PG-13, right. so kids can see it. Now, was it um, difficult? Did you have any life and death stunts to do while you were there, like on all the Bond movies? or? Um, I had a lot of stuff with water and explosions, but Pierce was so wonderful helping me. This is his third Bond, and he's done quite a few stunts before, so he was really helpful in me not catching on fire when I fall and right, breaking right. my arm and all that, so he was great. Where did you grow up? Illinois. You did? I did. You're like a farm girl? Kind of, pretty much. No <laughs> From the Midwest. And wh were you popular in high school? Were you like the pretty no. cheerleader girl? You were I not? I no. love when I ask the gorgeous <laughs> witness and they all lie. <laughs> Every one of you say, oh no, I had no dates, no one liked me. No, I was never nominated for like homecoming, prom queen. Really? My nickname in junior high was Fish Lips. I had a ski jump nose. And so now, you know. My sweet revenge is hopefully these girls are getting collagen injections in their lips. <laughs> <laughs> I read in uh, Details Detour magazine, and you look mm -hmm. very beautiful on the cover, that you have an intense fear of throwing up. Is that true? I do. You Ever do? since I was little. I don't know what it is, but I am terrified of it. And I have a four-year-old nephew, and when I, he's in school, and whenever I hear that, you know, some of the kids are sick, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it's terrible. Now, you have thrown up in recent years, I take yeah. it. Yeah, not in years. Probably, it's been about 10 years since I've thrown up. Really? Of it. Yeah, I'll do everything possible. I know it's ridiculous. What's with me? I throw up like four times a year. <laughs> I, I always get food poisoning. You ever get food poisoning? No, I've been lucky. I'm very susceptible to that. Yeah. Are you? I've had it four times. It's, I've had it a lot. Oh. I don't mind the throwing up, personally. You don't? <laughs> you know, so if you're ever going to have a baby, you better get used to it. Well, that's the thing. I hope I, when I have kids that I marry someone who doesn't have this fear because kids get sick a lot. Oh, yeah. They're going to throw up on you. Do your kids throw up on you? I, I've said this before, and people have been grossed out, but when my son was six months old and I picked him up after feeding him his first food and said, Abba, he threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Isn't that disgusting, Denise? That is disgusting. But when you're a mother, you don't care. Know, Do you know what, what I mean? Says, you really so don't hopefully care. Hopefully, I won't care. Are you the kind of somebody else is getting sick, it makes you get sick? Can you believe no. we're talking about this? There are so many <laughs> other things to discuss, and we're on the vomit. I don't know why. It's more if I know someone has the flu, because yeah. I don't want to catch it. Yeah, you're afraid of getting sick. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have germ issues, too? Like, do you afraid, no, like, now you have my germ? Yeah. Do you, does that bother you? <laughs> no, not no. germ issues. It's more, like, if you have the stomach flu right now, right. I'd be, you know. I don't. I'm OK. OK, good. Yeah. I have a little OCD. You know, like everything has to be in order. Oh, really? Yeah, like, see how this is right, right now? That so disturbs neat. me. I'd like to do this. You know, there. That's a lot better. Do you know? It's very hard to live with me. People tell me that. <laughs> really, because I have to arrange Especially everything. Especially kids. Kids are not the neatest. 
You know what? I find that if you're like this, you can actually make your kids get like this too, which is not good. Yeah, that's like be my crazy. daughter. Yeah, she notices if she has a tiny little piece of skin. Mama, fix that, fix that. You know, <laughs> she's a little OCD as well. Yeah. We have a clip from your movie, don't we? I think so. Yeah. It, this is. I play a scientist in this film. Okay. So the most I'm... beautiful scientist that ever lived. <laughs> All right. I'm going through a pipeline diffusing a bomb. Okay. Take a look, Denise Richards, in the new Bond film. So what are you saying? It couldn't go nuclear? There's still enough explosive in there to kill both of us if the trigger charge goes off. Let it blow. But I can stop it. Let it, it. blow. Trust me, leave it. Tomorrow, the world is not enough. With my favorite Dame Judy Dench, correct? Yes. Well, it's lovely to see you, Thank Denise. You so Thank you much. very much for being here. Continue success to you. Thank you. eBay.com, look for that. We'll be right back after this. Don't go away.